Hey everybody, so I'm back. Um, as you can see, some things have changed. I accidentally did quite a bit of work to this engine without recording it, so I have to apologize for that. Um, but let's see what I've done. Um, I put the head on here from the old engine. Uh, I cleaned it all up. Cleaned it up real good, put it back in, I uh, got a new head gasket in there. I haven't touched this side. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to disturb that head gasket. <laughs> I really don't like doing head gasket jobs, but, um, but that side's pretty nasty in there, so I'm probably going to end up doing it, just biting the bullet and doing it. Anyway, so what I've done right now, I uh, took the fan off, which is not an easy task to do. Let's see here. Here's the fan, and it's got a, a nut on the fan clutch, screws on here, and it's regular thread, you know, counterclockwise to loosen. And then you got, uh, you got this pulley that goes right on here and the way they make special tools to get this fan off but I didn't have the special tools so um, what I did is actually I have this most of you probably don't know what this is actually it goes like goes like that um, and this is a tool I got from Flying Miata. Uh, it was for for my Miata when I did the timing belt change. You know that you put that on the the crankshaft and helps you get the crankshaft pulley off. But anyways, I uh, I undid one of these nuts or bolts, whatever fastener, and I put it through this big hole on here. So it was kind of it's kind of on there like that and then I there it's sit, kind of sitting on there like that and I took my giant crescent wrench here put it on the nut and then I held on to the the flying Miata bar and I held on to my my crescent wrench and I turned like crazy and finally broke it loose Took me about a took me about an hour to come up with this idea to, to use this bar. I was trying to wedge screwdrivers between here, trying to put my my wrench on there because when you have this fan on, you only have so much room to get to those bolts. So it's you got limited space. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking this water pump off because I've got a new water pump for it and uh, I've got all the all the fasteners off already except for this last one so I, I haven't taken this off yet so we're gonna see the inside together for the first time isn't that sweet um, there's 12 fasteners on this you know they go all the way around there's two tucked down under there you know so Let's go ahead and open this up. It's like 10 o'clock at night right now, so that's why it's so dark in here. My camera's not wanting to focus. Oh yeah, look at that thing. That's still good. Let's put it back in. It's just fine. That's only a little bit of rust and broken. Not too bad. You can see you can see the line where the water was sitting. Actually, I never drained the fluids out of this engine. Now that I think about it, so it's probably probably still full of uh, coolant and full of oil. Ooh. All right. So that's off. Oh, great. The gasket's gonna break into a million pieces. Oh yeah. 
story of my life. All right, well, wonderful. I'm gonna pull this gasket off, clean it up real good, try and clean as much of this out as I can, and then uh, we'll put the new new water pump on. And it's on. Got the new gasket in, new water pump on, all the fasteners on. Um, this right here is just a protective rubber thing on the, uh, the threads for the fan nut. I'm not going to put the fan on or the pulley on because um, that limits the clearance I have when I'm putting the engine back in the truck. So I'll put those on once the engine's in the truck. Um, what else? Oh, uh, these bolts. Don't try to over tighten them. They're small bolts. They only get about um, about 88 inch pounds of torque. So you know that's just pretty much just snugged up tight. You know if you over tighten them, they're going to snap off, and then you're going to have all kinds of problems. All right, so here's what the engine bay is looking like right now. Everything taken out of it. My whole wiring harness all up over here. Um, looks like I might need to replace this motor mount. If I'm going to do that, might as well replace both of them, right? You're right. Got a stick there holding up the transmission from sagging. Uh, got a rag in there because it was leaking a lot of oil. Looks like a spider made his house inside my exhaust pipe. There's the other header, chilling like a villain. A lot of spiders have made home up in here. Uh, if you think about it, it's been probably almost a year since I've opened this hood. <laughs> been working on other stuff. So, we're getting back at it. Uh, I want to paint this engine bay. Um, you know, the, the truck's black, but it, it looks like it used to be red. You know, inside here it's all red. But I'm looking at it and it looks like a big project to uh, work on. Because I have to take everything off and then clean all the grease and dirt off and then sand it a little bit to get it rough and then primer it, then paint it. And I want it to look good in here, but I don't want to spend that much time making it look good in here. So I don't know. That's still a thought in my head. I mean, this side, I just have to take the washer fluids off and then that's good. Um, these I would just, I'd probably just tape around it. There's too much to take off there. I'm going to pull some of these vacuum lines down, take that off. But over here, I've still got everything. And I don't want two sides to be painted and one not, because that would just look stupid. So, still thinking. I think I'm going to hit the frame here with some primer, though. Sand that, primer it. So it looks like it's getting a little bit of rust going. Do a little preventative maintenance. So, that's how it's sitting right now. Yeah, that's about it. Well, after a lot of debating, I've decided I'm going to take this head off. I figure, what's, what's the point of having one side nice and clean with a brand new, brand new head gasket and everything, and then just leave this side looking like garbage. Plus, when I did this side, I cleaned it up, I put new valve seals in, I lapped the, lapped the valves, Did all that work and didn't show you so to make up for it I'll do it to this side and I will show you I got the header bolts soaking in some WD-40 hoping that they won't break off on me so if they break I'm screwed because 
the other head for this side also has broken bolts in it so let's hope that they don't break I got five of them out got these two and these three along the bottom this one is being a pain it does not want to loosen up I mean it's, it's loose from the header I've managed to turn it a little bit but I don't know if that's turning because it's about to break off or <laughs> because it's really tight really hard to turn so uh, I've soaked it in penetrating stuff uh, WD-40 I've put my impact socket on it I've yanked on it with my um, breaker bar and it's still there so I'm gonna take a torch to it I think it's I think it's coming but I'm scared Gotta only have a couple threads left in there. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see see how bent that that bolt is thing is crooked but we got it out that's the good part now look at that there's no uh, there's no exhaust gasket on here there's no header gasket it was just straight metal to metal <laughs> well, must have been a shoddy mechanic never worked on this Coolio. So, um, I pull these spark plugs out, and then we'll take this head off. So, we're gonna take these head bolts out. And there's four on the outside here. Well, I guess it would be outside of the valve cover, and then you got four on the inside. You can't really see, but they're right there, right there, and right there. Sorry about all the noise, my neighbor just let his rat kids out. And um, they take a Torx bit, and it is T55. There you go, right there, T55. So, again, you don't want to break these ones off either, so be gentle, because those are some bad ones to break off in there. So, we'll go ahead and take those out and see what kind of presents are left us left for us underneath. Well since the last time I did that head I forgot how these heads come off. <laughs> I got all the bolts out except for that one and that one. The reason being if you look down they're covered up by the rockers so you gotta take those off. So one, two, those three bolts and then the whole thing comes off and then we can get those last two bolts. Alright, the three bolts are out so now this rocker arm should be able to come up pretty easily without much effort. And there it is. We got your valves, got your rocker arms. 
So now you can see we can get to those two last bolts. Take this head off. Alrighty, now we're ready to lift this head off. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it one handed. I already popped it loose. It was stuck on there pretty good, so I took a flathead screwdriver right through here, pushed down, and that popped it up. So, let's see if it'll come out. I could get it one handed, give it the old bowling ball grip. One side. There we go. Alrighty. This sucker is heavy, actually. There we go. Yep. Looks nasty. Good thing I'm opening it. Yeah, I put that heavy head down. You could take a look at this. Look at all these. All the water pores are all nasty. See if this head will come off in one, or this uh, head gasket will come off in one piece. Usually they don't. It looks like this one's not wanting to. This one's not wanting to come up at all. I think she's coming. There we go. Nice. Came out in one piece. That's always a plus. Jeez. I need to clean all this up. But from what I can see in the cylinders. They feel really good. Hey, anything's better than what they were on the other engine, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, let's take this take this head in and clean her up. I'll pull all these lifters out. Clean these up too. Right on. So let's get to work.